Because I've had a I've had a lot of credits that just uh, like fell apart in stage two. So I feel like if I can actually get past stage three, the back half of the game isn't quite as bad, especially if you have enough hearts built up. But again, it all comes down to like actually actually learning the uh, the route. It took me a little while to learn, but I think I'm good for it now. Good credit, nice. It's my wedding day. And K, thank you for the the big 63. The 63 eons. That's a lot of years. Thank you for the resub, Ann. All right. Simon has bride. Oh, my buttons aren't set. Simon had his bride abducted, and now he has to go find the bathroom. Hold on. Uh, I was playing this on pad, wasn't I? I was! Okay, I've got a jump button now. So, like in Castlevania, your hearts are also the uh, special weapon ammo, but in this game, they also... You don't get all your health back between stages, and then whatever remaining hit points get restored by the hearts. So it turns out to be very important to, uh, to pick up as many hearts as possible. Oh, gotta fight the wall. This game is very silly. His ass. Oh, no, don't tip over that torch. Oh no, the grass is on fire. How can this be? Oh, it's out. Booga booga. Oh, 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 oh. I have to fight that last guy. Oh, I think I missed some bits. Thank you, the Ultimo, and thank you, uh, thank you, I asked for the for the bits. Shit! Taking too many hits early. Like I said, you don't wanna you don't wanna take too many hits. Just to keep the uh, the heart count up. Sometimes I can spawn two skeletons there, which is nice, but no such luck that time. Should be okay. Stand here and whip some bats. <laughs> and then let's throw bombs at Medusa. We ain't got no shirt on. Also a very powerful squatting pose on the uh, on the map screen. So I noticed this the uh, the other day too. It feels like, like of the six stages in the game, four of them like start off by making you go to the left instead of to the right, which feels weird. And also these skeletons are jerks because they turn into those those spirits afterwards. All right, got the boomerang. Got the got the first weapon upgrade. Go down the stairs, please. I believe this is one of the versions where falling in the water is instant death, so... I can never jump that fucking rock! BONG! Very good sound effect. <laughs> That's right, drop off there. Don't jump off, drop off. Right, where's the bat? I can never get that big heart, but it's alright. This stage is very important because there's a uh, there's a stopwatch you gotta get. Jerk ass bat. Right up here on these stairs. Gotta hit that bat right away. 
the most powerful sub-weapon. It has the ability to freeze everything on the screen. It only costs two hearts. Oh, those guys don't have hearts. That's fine. Some of those hats, some of those bats have big hearts, but I hit the wrong ones. Yeah, usually, usually using the uh, the clock would take like five hearts in most games, but uh -oh. ah, fuck, I was gonna take damage anyway. In this game, it only takes two. It's pretty powerful. Probably didn't need to do that. That's not a... That's not one of the jerk skeletons. That is... Don't want the bomb. Keep that, uh, keep that clock. I was that close, huh? Okay. That's not good. I'm... I'm down on hearts a lot. Oh, God. Well, that boss died quickly, but seven of my hearts are going to turn into hit points. I think I can still pull this off, though. Hey, this sounds familiar. Alright, not gonna damage skip. That big heart. I needed that. So I'm gonna use the clock here. Get taken to another dimension. Oh, nobody's there. You're supposed to fight some harpies there, but if you use the uh if you use the clock to stop everything, the harpies don't appear. Don't want that. Don't want that either. Shit. Okay, I'm taking a lot of hits. It's not good. Get it! Oh, now the silverware is out to kill me. Run, 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 run. Oh, that didn't drop the big heart. That's not good. Alright, so I basically have, like, <laughs> one use of the, the stopwatch unless I get more hearts. Oh, Amiga eyes. I can never hit that. Okay. This guy scroll down here. And now we get the sword! And I accidentally picked up the boomerang. That's not good. Uh, let's see how this goes. I was not supposed to pick that up. Yeah, the most powerful main weapon in this game is a sword. <laughs> Simon Belmont's sword. Yeah, so now I don't have full health. So what I see most people do do for this stage is just like hang on to the hang on to the clock. But in this game, I try to. Or 
I try to, like, actually get the other sub-weapons, because when you pick them up, they give you five hearts. So I can at least try to get my health back. Like, I'm, I'm definitely going to take some damage on the boss, but... It should be... As long as I don't take too many hits before that. <laughs> I'm down, like, seven hit points. Just gotta be really careful. have it in for me today. Okay. <laughs> I made this mistake before. Do not jump on the platforms till they go all the way up or else you're you're fucked. What's this guy doing? Back up to 23, 23 hearts. Oh my god, fucking hitbox in the sword, please. Let's have to survive the rest of the stage. So I'll probably take some hits on the boss, but I don't. The boss usually only does like one hit point of damage with each attack, so. Should be doable. Ah, I missed my red. Okay, so I feel like I have good luck with this boss if I just keep swinging the sword. Like he won't, he won't do his attacks at me if I'm if I keep swinging the sword. We, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't budget a death animation for this guy. And there we go, back up to full health. And now I have to ride through the elevator of bullshit. I already forgot what to do. It's pretty much impossible to get through this part without taking a hit. Shouldn't have taken two, but that's alright. Watch back. So I should be good. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, Jumper. Oh, shit. You! Son of a bitch. Okay, I want that bird to follow me, I think. It's got a big heart. Why is this game not called Castlevania? Who knows? This game is just very... Oh, that's not a useful stopwatch there. 
Konami didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Oh, was I supposed to kill this guy? The, the bat, I mean? I didn't get the... I didn't get the cross. Yeah, the bat had the cross. Shit. Alright, well. Time to fight Frankie. Luckily, Clock Stress worked pretty well. He's chained to the wall. That felt really mean. Alright, final stage. Time for the world's longest bridge. <laughs> There's the big heart. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, theme of Julius. Can't stop to attack every bat here, but I can get and kill some of them. The bridge crumbling is always the same speed as your walk animation, so... As long as I keep holding to the left, I'm fine. You can just damage boost through bats. I should have enough health. It's fine. It's under control. It's too hard to memorize the exact spots these bats show up in, so... I'll just run through them. <laughs> and you don't want to kill the last bat, because he has a torch, and the torch sucks. We haven't seen that sub-weapon yet. I don't know if it shows up anywhere but on the last stage. But it's really trash. We gotta kill a harpy first for some reason. Alright, there he is. We're just gonna use the stopwatch on him. Nope, oh, he burned on the cross. Or did he? Hey, I'm Dracula! Hey, how's it going? Nope, oh, I did it too soon. Hey, what's up? Oh, he melted. That was it. That was the final boss. Dracula's gigantic head. Castle falls in record time. And then he got loot too. Although for some fucking reason, and this this bothers me, the stage counter doesn't increment. Like it still says stage one. Stage zero one. Like they're using two digits for the stage counter. Which makes me wonder why they didn't, uh, they didn't keep the stage counter going. So the only thing that's really different in Loop 2 is that the, the bats fly, fly up and down faster. And that's, that's about it. Like, I don't think anything does more damage. It feels like if you can actually do the first loop of this, and go into the, uh, go into Loop 2, fully powered up, Loop 2 is actually easier, kind of. Because I already have the sword. And I have some extra hearts from the, uh... From killing Dracula. So the only thing that can really stop you is if you fall in the pit, or... Or you do what I did the last time I played this and accidentally pick up the, uh, the cross on stage 3. When I wanted to keep the, uh clock. The watch. I've called it like three different things. The clock, the watch, the stopwatch. Oops. Didn't mean to stop time there. Might as well pick up the bomb. Yeah, the timepiece. I don't know. Maybe should we go for two loops of this? Why not? game short. 
Yeah, you can see the difference in the in the way the bats go up and down here. Oh, no, too early. But yeah, it just feels like if you can actually finish a loop of this first, the game should be easier after that. Although there's still plenty of spots to fuck up. I just really wish that stage counter, like, actually incremented properly. That really annoys me. didn't get the, the thing. That's like five hearts lost. I mean, there are some versions, uh, like the, the Japanese version, if you fall in the water here, you don't die, but it sends you back to like a, a previous checkpoint and it takes off like half your life, I think. But in the English version, you fall here, you're just instantly dead. Bong! sound effect. That big heart is so hard to get. It's less than half. I thought it would, like, automatically bring you down to, like, eight hit points. But... Could be different on different versions. I don't know. Wow! Wait, where's the, uh... Uh-oh. Uh, where's the clock? Okay, well that's what that's, that'll kill my run. Not having the uh, <laughs> not having that show up. That other bat that showed up like fucked up the uh, the spawn, I guess. still be doable. <laughs> I don't know how to do the boss, though. I always just use the, the time stops right on the boss, so... Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. have to fight that guy. That's fine. Actually, did I get hit by the bat or the skeleton? It's hard to tell. Boah. That was close enough for that? Okay, that's not good. That means I can only take like two hits on the boss. More skeletons or something? I think they have a different hitbox when they're facing to the left or something. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I don't know what to do without the stopwatch. So that's the only thing that can... That's another thing that can fuck up your run. <laughs> oh, the high score screen works. But they keep the the incremental stage counter here. But they don't use it, like, during the game. I don't know what's up with that. Well, 
so much for trying to do two loops. I gotta, mm, I gotta figure out how to make sure that bat spawns every time if I want to max out the score. Maxing out the score would probably take like two, two and a half hours. <laughs> You'd have to do like six or seven loops. <laughs>